Hello guys, today we are going to be talking about the Christopher Ward C60 Trident Pro 600 men's diving watch, which, although Christopher Ward is a London boutique, is a fully Swiss-made watch with an ETA 2824-2 movement um, with a 46, I believe, hour power reserve um, and a date complication, which you can see prominently at the 3 o'clock window. Uh, you also notice right underneath or to the side of the raised 6 o'clock hour indice is the Swiss made print, so you know that this watch is Swiss made. Um, let's take a look at the face of the watch right away. So one of the things you'll notice right off the bat are these raised um, applied indices. So they're very well polished and they're very accurately placed, which is something that is hard to do and really speaks to the manufacturing quality um, that was used when making this watch. One thing you'll also notice is the date window, uh, the polish on that matches the polish on the hour indices and also the um, minute, hour, and second hand, which is very nice to see. Um, another thing you'll notice about the watch, which is kind of hard to see, is that it has this really interesting wave pattern on the dial. So I'm going to try and move this around so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it right there. So yeah, it has this wonderful wave texture on the dial, which really, really stands out and um, kind of cements this whole nautical theme that the watch has. Um, so one thing Two, you'll notice the logo on this watch is a little strange. Um, it has the Christopher Ward brand name on it, um, but the Christopher is abridged. It also has London underneath it, which isn't really a big selling point for, for watch connoisseurs or watch collectors, so I'm not entirely sure why they even put it on the dial, um, other than, you know, taking pride in, in their craft. So, in my opinion, I think that this logo looks pretty uh, bad. I, I would say it's the most negative thing I would have to say about this watch, which speaks more about the quality of the watch and how good it is, rather than the um, mistakes that Christopher Ward made. Um, since this watch has been released, Christopher Ward has redone their logo, but it still doesn't quite look right. I think the text on this logo works with the nautical theme of the watch, but something has to be changed. I feel like Christopher shouldn't be abridged. Maybe Ward is put underneath and just remove London? I don't know. Maybe, uh, Maybe there would be some nice symmetry because uh, at the bottom of the, or right above the sixth hour position, we have the Trident Pro 600 meter automatic. Uh, that's three lines of text. So maybe if we had three lines of text at the top, it would balance out. I don't know. That's something for Christopher Ward's designers to point out, and I'm not going to argue about it here. Um, one thing else you'll notice about this watch is that the hands are all kind of different. The hour hand is kind of like a bulb or a, a paintbrush tip, which is interesting because the second, or yeah, the minute hand is more sword shaped. The only thing that really ties them together are these little, um, I'm not sure if you can see this, I need a better pointing tool. Um, the little open area, more toward the center of the watch. Those are the only things that really connect the two. 
um, and you know, and the loom um, painting on the hands, obviously. The second hand kind of goes in a completely opposite direction. Um, we can see the trident, which um, you know contributes to the nautical theme of the watch. Um, but the other end of the second hand is a little funky too, with a you know a small circle, kind of three quarters of the way down the hand. Um, it's it's an interesting look. Um, we can see that the second hand kind of goes halfway, it, it stops halfway between the minute markers on the face of the watch, um, which is interesting. I don't, I'm, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Um, whereas the hour hand lines up directly with the outer edge of the applied indices and the minute hand lines up with the outer edge of the minute markers on the dial. So, let us talk a little bit about the bezel, the glass, the case, uh, the screw down crown, everything else that makes this watch really amazing. Be right back. Alright, so here we are with a little bit of a wider view of this watch. You can now see the bracelet and my very ugly hands. I apologize for that. <laughs> um, so looking at the watch, uh, we can see here the bezel. Um, we have the wonderful 15 minute countdown uh, clock with the triangle and a circle um, filled with a loom at the very top. Um, one thing to notice is the the bezel lines up really well with the hour markers on the watch. Um, and, you know, the, the bezel kind of makes, um, it, it lines up really well with the watch and it makes reading the minutes much easier, which I think is very valuable um, for, the, for the average day use. Um, one thing to notice about the bezel is that there's very little play so I'm like actually like shaking it right now and there's very little play in the bezel until you want to actually actuate it and when you do actuate it um, you can hear it really well I'm actually gonna move it closer to the camera you can hear the actuation okay so there it was so you can hear this thing it clicks and it stays so this is a unidirectional bezel. It only turns one way. Um, this is useful for diving applications. Uh, if you want to know more about that, you can read about it um, in our review, on, in our text review on our website, perfecttimepiece.com. Um, anyway, so the bezel is very nice. It's very reflective. That's one thing about this watch that's very, um, I would say it's one of the more negative things about this watch. Uh, the bezel being reflective isn't much of a problem. The glass being reflective is, I believe this is a sapphire glass. Um, Christopher Ward doesn't particularly specify on their website, and I'm not entirely sure what they could have done to make it less reflective but it kind of obscures the wave dial um, and that works against the watch so in my opinion so one other thing that's really cool about the diving specific nature of this watch is that um, the crown screws down so um, I'm not sure if I've already said this, but again, this is an ETA 2824 movement, which uh, features a hacking seconds. So if I pull this all the way out, it stops the seconds. You can adjust the watch, you know, um, and then you push it in one notch, you can adjust the date, push it in all the way. Um, you have the chance to actually wind the watch, which is very, nice. Uh, it feels very nice. It feels very solid. Um, I'm actually going to move it closer to the camera so you can hear it. It's 
It's very quiet. I don't, I don't know if you're going to actually be able to hear that. Um, so you can wind it and that'll actually increase the power reserve or if you've run out of power um, it, it'll start the watch back up again. Um, so this is again an automatic movement. And then here's the screw down crown. So it screws right down. Very tight, very secure. That's how it has the 600 um, meter water resistance. So now let us take a look a little bit uh, more at the case and the bracelet of this watch. Uh, one thing you'll notice is the side view um, really shows the kind of symmetry the watch has. The, the front uh, bezel and the kind of the chamfered glass really kind of matches the reflective back. Um, and it, in the lugs, you can tell, curve down. Um, so this makes the watch a little bit more comfortable to wear. Um, I, I would say comfortability is, I don't even think that's a word, but the comfort level of this watch is, I would say, below my expectations. It's a very heavy watch. Um, it, it's very well built. It feels very robust, but it is very heavy. Um, and it leaves marks on my skin. So one thing you'll notice actually um, about the, the curvature of the lugs and the, the case is that it kind of curves down here. Um, let me get my pen. It kind of curves down here. And you can see that it kind of curves into this lug guard. Um, into the crown guard, excuse me, and it does it on the bottom too, on either side, and it, it really makes the crown view, um, the crown really well guarded, and, and it just adds to the aesthetic of the case. It's really well done. Um, nothing too fancy on the case. It, it's stainless steel, um, obviously. But one thing cool about the bracelet is that this center link here is kind of raised above the other ones. So it gives um, gives the watch a really cool feel and, and a really cool look. It's definitely not um, one dimensional. The, the watch um, is very simple. It, it's, very, it's a very simple design, but yet it, it's not so simple, it's boring. And that's something that I like. So let's take a look at this clasp here. So here's the Christopher Ward um, anagram again that you see on the, the crown, the crown signature here. Um, and if you push in on these buttons, you'll release the clasp. There is the Christopher Ward uh, logo right there. Um, and then you have the clasp. And there's a diving extension here. So if we pop this out, you can pop it out. Um, and that that's allows you to extend the um, bracelet size without adding in another link. That's useful um, for diving in your diving suit, but it's also useful, um, I would say, if you're wearing a large winter coat or something of a similar nature, something a little bit more practical for the everyday person. Um, so let's actually take a little look at the back. Almost forgot about this. The back of this watch also extends the nautical theme. So we can see here the Trident Pro 600M ceramic um, in this first kind of uh, outer circle. And then on the inner circle, we have the wave pattern from the front mirrored on the back. And we have that Trident from the second hand, um, I, I would say maybe a little bit more detailed here on the back. Um, and then, you know, we have the, uh, the six individual holes uh, here, here, and here, you know, all the way around uh, to allow you to unscrew the case back. So, unfortunately, I do not have a tool to open this up, so that is going to have to do it. Um, one quick note on the clasp, it clicks in, very secure. I've had this watch for a few months now, 
and I've never once uh, felt it being loose or unsecure. So let's wrap this up here. It's getting a little bit long. This watch is a great, very classy diver. Um, not necessarily something I would wear uh, on a suit if I had, you know, a more formal watch. Um, but then again, I don't think it would look too bad. Um, I think the watch is very useful, very rugged. Um, I, I've banged it up against walls too many times to really uh, care to admit, uh, yet it still looks very polished, very sophisticated, and very well kept, which is something that I really appreciate. Um, Christopher Ward has this for $910. Uh, the used market has them going in the five to $600 range. I personally bought this one used for $550. Um, and with that, I would rate this watch overall an 8.4 out of 10. And in terms of value, I would give it a 9.5 out of 10 crazy crazy value for that price um, really wonderful watch so if you guys have any comments or questions please let me know in the comment section down below what's your favorite diver let me know maybe i will be able to review it at some point in time thanks guys have a wonderful day bye